When expanding binomials, we use the same crab claw technique. However, it is slightly different because this time we do it in two phases. The first phase deals with the first half of the equation where x is multiplying with both terms in the second bracket over here. And then the second half deals with the second term in the first bracket, which is 4, multiplying with, again, both terms in the second bracket. So if we were to put arrows and show how to multiply, let's do this together. We would have x multiplying with the first term in the second bracket, which is x. We would then have x multiplying with 2, which is the second term in the second bracket. That would be the first half of your expansion done. The second half deals with this 4. The 4 is going to now multiply with the first term in the second bracket, which is x. And then the 4 will multiply with the second term in the second bracket, which is 2. And that will give you the second half of the expansion. So if we were to rewrite and expand this underneath, let's do it together. We have x times x, which gives us x squared. We then have x times plus 2, which is 2x. So plus 2x. That's the first half done. The second half deals with this 4 multiplying with the two terms. So 4 times x gives us plus 4x. And then 4 times plus 2 gives us plus 8. And that is your expansion done. However, there is one key step that is crucial when expanding binomials, and that is the simplification process. Here, we can see that we have some like terms. In this case, 2x and 4x. Because they are like terms, they can combine together and give us an even simpler answer. So if we were to combine this and simplify this overall, we would get x squared plus 2x plus 4x gives us 6x, then plus 8. And that would be our final answer.